every hour, someone in the United States dies from skin cancer. It is a scary statistic, one students at UT Austin are trying to improve. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis explains how they're putting power in the hands of anyone with an internet connection to better protect themselves. It affected me dramatically. I would say it affected kind of everything for me. It, it's, I think, as any cancer diagnosis does for anyone. Shelly Rydell got the diagnosis when she was just 24 years old. Luckily, they caught it early. Having a, a, an experienced dermatologist check you routinely is really the most effective way to protect yourself, but there are these gaps between when you're going in to visit. A gap UT students are working to fill, creating tools to better examine yourself at home. These are actual skin cancers. They're Rachel Grabard created an app that will ask questions about suspicious moles. It then calculates the probability of it being skin cancer. She's already it seen it work so for someone she loves. My grandfather actually was just diagnosed with melanoma. He ended up having, I think it was an 85% chance based on the questions that were on here. He then went to the doctor, got a biopsy, got it confirmed diagnosis, and now he's having it removed. The app also stores pictures of your mole so you can check for changes over time. Another app helps document the self-examination, reminding you to do it again in 30 days. As a human being, I can try to remember uh, what I did a year ago, but all, if I have any disease or any moles or anything, I don't think I would remember what happened a year ago. Making life a little easier with a tool you most likely already have in your pocket. Now, while it's never good to leave your health solely in the hands of an app, we talked to one dermatologist who said he approves of using the app in conjunction with real medical care. Melanomas can literally show up from one patient visit to the next, and usually we see patients once a year, so I think seeing it once a month, at least if an app offers that opportunity, would be fantastic because moles can change, and especially melanomas that are exceptionally deadly. Right now, the two apps you saw are available online. Eventually, they hope to create phone apps. We have links to the websites over on KXAN.com.